Greetings once again all you outlaws out there, these days then back again with Trigun Stampede. Previously, our group has been joined by Nicholas D. Wolfwolf, a traveling priest who in actuality is an assassin, much like the others who have been sent after Vash previously at the behest of his brother Nye. And when the group hits up a spot called Windmill Village, a village for some reason that has no wind, they come upon a massive hulking creature that attacks Vash with intensity, and Vash is even more reluctant than before not to strike back at this creature. Meryl happens upon an old picture of Vash that shows that Vash seems to live longer than one would think, and the massive hulking creature is a child named Rolo that Vash knew in the past when he was a baby, who had been experimented on by Knives' people, who preyed upon the fact that the village were begging for a miracle, and with Vash so desperate not to harm this person that he knew as a child, Wolfwood ultimately was the one to bring the creature down. Despite Vash's protest, it was only then, after this boy Rolo had killed everyone he used to know in the village, dyeing the sand red with their blood, only after Rolo himself had died, with the only person remembering what this village used to be like, being Vash, it was only then the wind finally started to blow. The question now is, how much more will Vash be made to suffer by the machinations of his brother? And is Wolfwood really an enemy, or is he an ally? Who was needed in order to get Vash to do the thing he doesn't want to do. Join me as I find out, won't you? Forgive me. <laughs> Someone being chased out into the desert? Uh oh. Wolfwood? A previous hit job? <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, so that's all of y for you, Executioner. Huh. He openly relies on this drug in this series a lot more than before. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Why would you willingly let yourself get hit, though? You monster. Hmm. So are we going deeper into Wolfwood's backstory? Well, this could be intense. The authorities have not yet been able to track down the planet thief terrorizing the region. Even red plant scheduled for disposal are being taken, suggesting the culprit behind the spree isn't well versed in plant technology. Technology. <laughs> He's a lot more versed than you'd think. You guys fight over candy or something? The July government continues its search for the key witnesses. The man named Vash. Hmm. You can take the sand steamer from the port up ahead to get to July. Are we leaving the car behind? This is where we check out. Yeah. We need to return to headquarters. Gotta write up our article. But you're fine with that, right? Yeah. Uh, it's a bit sudden to be parting ways. But maybe it's for the best. Last call for boarding. All passengers, please complete boarding procedures. Oh. They said steam train. I wonder. Is this gonna be the train episode? If you have not yet completed boarding procedures, please speak to attend it immediately. We're gonna run into Neon. Thank you for for your cooperation and keeping us on schedule. I thought you guys were buddies. No way. No? How cold? I don't understand. Didn't think you would. How can we let the humanoid typhoon get away? He's too much trouble. <laughs> Got that right. What kind of monster looks the same for 20 years? Are you scared? Say what you will. We're writing for a tabloid. Nothing worth risking our lives over. True. I mean, it was being reported that sh essentially labeling you as accomplices, you don't want to get dug in too deep. And it's okay if we're not risking our lives. It's such a... Man, they make these things look so much grander than in the original anime. Thank you for boarding humpback bound across the great sand ocean. Oh, the ship is one of the largest sand steamers on no man's land. Our plan is one of the most powerful in the world meaning safety and peace of mind for our passengers. Our destination is Third City of July on the other side of the Great Sand Ocean. Oh, oop, please sit back and enjoy the voyage. Huh, okay, that didn't look like Neon. You'd really know if it was Neon. He'd be covering it Neon, who would have thought? What's your end game, huh? You're following me around. I'm your babysitter. You're a sport brat who can't even kill bad guys. You should be thanking me. You don't get to choose who lives and dies. Still going on about that? Let's have tea over there, sure. Don't you have something you want to protect more than anything else, too? They're pre pretty much directly calling it out that he knows what Wolfwood is about. Enough already. The only reason you survived this long is because other people died instead. That's not what I mean, and you know it. What? I don't get you at all. Oh, uh, here is more time. Oh, shut If you can't even wipe your own ass at any point, try to make his. <laughs> oh. Wait. Li Livia? It's gotta be, the way his weapons look. Oh, nice. Okay, that is very different design. Ooh, not to mention he's not as bulky. 
Huh, okay. I always did want to see him in animated form, but this is very different. What gives? What are you doing here? Okay, they do know each other. Uh, number six, yep. Once upon a time in Hopeland. <laughs> also, almost like once upon a time in Dreamland. Oh, whoa, oh, what the heck? Oh, we changed up the style. Oh, so we're doing their backstory. Everyone, here's a new friend. Huh. The orphanage, Wolfwood, and Livia. His name is Livia. Huh. Mommy, Daddy. <laughs> he was already jaded. Huh. Oh, here you are. Yeah, he was a bit of a crybaby. Hmm. Oh, whoa! Oh, was he messing with him? <laughs> what a little shit. Jeez, I'd just leave him back then. The name is Nicholas D. Wolfwood. Hmm. Feed. There you go. You're finally smiling, crybaby Olivia. Hmm. <laughs> Pretending to smoke. Or was he actually? Oh, jeez, really? Oh, God. What a little delinquent. What are you brats doing? Who? <laughs> hmm. oh. Yeah, they never got to this in the original anime. Oh, stop, Olivia. Don't kill him. Jeez, <laughs> is this a drop your weapon. What are you doing? Resistance will shoot. Don't come over here. Hey, you two, drop your weapons. What are you doing? Answer me. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 watch it. Trying to get fired on your in your first year? I get it. The repair cost alone would. I get it. I'll drive safely. No, you don't. I'm saying to let this go. I get it. <laughs> just keeps repeating that. Fine. Just remember that this is an undercover report. I get it. Pull out the first sign of trouble you hear. I get it. Oh snap, it is! Do you really? It's them. And this is just the worst. It's him, isn't it? <laughs> I knew it as soon as we saw the steamer. So they're going from the terminal to get all the way to July. Jeez. And they'd have to pass in front of the Hopeland Orphanage, which is in the middle. Hmm. Oh, back to the flashback. Uh, oh, you must be Nicholas. Oh, is this how it happened? You passed the selection test. So they were selecting kids all over for knives. Congratulations, child of blessing. So this is how he ended up being experimented on like many other kids. So how many towns was he doing this in? Selecting children to be experimented on. Livia didn't come to say goodbye. He probably didn't want to say goodbye to his friend. Test subject HL16 chemical aptitude S+. Yeah. Yeah. Genetically modified. They didn't really go into any detail like this in the main anime, I don't think. I think it was hinted at, but I don't think it was, like, as extensive as it actually was in the manga. In addition to repairing any damage done to your body, this drug rebuilds and strengthens your cells. It can heal any wound. Sounds like a dream, right? Huh. <laughs> it seems like he's tripping. Nico, Nico. Jeez. Hmm, the accelerated growth comes at a price, but... Yeah, that's right. He's grown so much in just a few months. Okay, so they're doing that too. And yet, something else that wasn't in the original anime was that Nicholas grew. He's actually a, a bit younger than what he appeared, which is, would have made his relationship with Millie problematic. <laughs> He's grown so much in just a few months. An unavoidable side effect. How terrible. What a monster. Massive stash of the drug. <laughs> he broke out. We got a runner. Is that? Hey, don't move. Hold it. Stop. What are you doing? Don't hurt him. He's a test object. Yeah, how splendid. Yeah, worked just the way you wanted it to. Ooh. Nice. I'm going back to the orphanage. Ooh. Ooh. What the hell? Oh. Eee. Was it knives or? Ugh. How is he maintaining his own will? Oh, S plus boy. It's Legato. You have a gift. Starting today, you shall join the Eye of Michael. Right, the Eye of Michael. That's the group. Oh, I'm sure you'll like it. We worship a beautiful angel. Yep, in this too, he's the highest of all zealots. I don't believe in any god. Punishment. We will eliminate all abnormalities in Master Knives' noble plan. Rebels. Jeez. Fugitives. Ah. Uh, runners. Losers. Ah. Uh, what a gross religion. I'm sure you'll like it. That's a hard pass for me, idiot. Eh, I don't know if I care for his design here. Oh, Livia. This is your little brother, eh? Livia. I hear he volunteered himself to follow after you. What a beautiful fraternal love. Ah, that's how they got him to do what they wanted. This is a little bit, it's a bit, quite a bit different than the manga, I think. I think mostly in both versions of the original anime and the manga, he was just trying to support the orphanage. If you won't join us, he says he'll work for us instead. So what will it be? Damn you and your freaky blue hair. Oof, jeez. Oof. Damn, don't talk about my hair. It's futile. 
My power isn't mere nerve control or electrical impulse. Livia, run. Oh, he's already been experimented on. Love attachment. I simply don't get it. There's no need for emotion. Sacrifice everything to devotion, body, and spirit. Now come. Anyway, you creepy blue freak. Oof. Blue Summers. Oh, you're here already. Please be gentle with him. He's just a stray. He is S plus drug compatibility, the highest class. Oh dear, I'm so sorry. Priest William, you mustn't defile life. Forgive us, boy. I'm sorry, Livia. Please, don't make me kill you. See, I don't think I ever found out how old Wolfwood was in the manga. Because for all he know, we know he's looked like this for years. And he's aged up to look his age. Oh, jeez. He's still alive, but how? Yeah, he auto-regens without the meds. Yeah, he's the, uh, upgraded version of you. Who is that guy? None of your business. Hey, and hide before he finds you. Someone's gonna get killed. You shouldn't be worried about other people. You know him, don't you? You have to help him. It's too late. Oh, jeez. Hey, don't go needle noggin. Stop this. It's me you want, right? Ooh. Ooh. I have to catch up. Drop your weapons and surrender. Listen, you soldiers need to run. Engage on lower deck, knee back up immediately. Put your hands up. It is, should stand back. Okay, Wolfwood. Oh! I wonder if he has the... Oh, is Wolfwood blocking it? I told you to stand back, Needle Noggin. I can't let you two kill each other. Uh-oh, it's the Zazzy. The Punisher is in a bit of a bind, it seems. Why do this? It is indeed a tough choice. If his brother dies, other children at the orphanage will be net until they find one with good drug compatibility. Humans have such a bad taste. He's purely trying to protect too much. Damn it. Okay, so he is doing it for the orphanage too in this. Okay. So a lot of the motivation is the same, just the circumstances are a bit different. Ooh. Ooh. That hit did not look that hard. Let's hide already. What? Uh, I'll beat your ass. You're currently assessing the situation. Please follow the attendant's instructions. Hurry. Okay. There's no need for emotion. Love attachment. I simply don't get it. I still can't give, still can't give up on your little brother. Can't you just accept reality already? Oh no. What's he doing? He's gonna derail the train? Oh. Uh oh. How bad is this about to be? The ship's gone off course. Oh, they're gonna end up at Hopeland. Oh, they're gonna collide with Hopeland! And here comes Neon. All that glitters is ours, the most gorgeous and terrifying bandit you'll ever see. Here we go, Raiders of the Desert. Go, go, go. The Bad Lads Gang, now of all times. Come on, show me Neon! So, what's your next move, Punisher? Ugh. Who will you kill? Oh, a standoff, who will you save? Why back him into a corner like this? Is it because he wasn't doing his job or something? I've got you. Hmm. Why do this to Wolfwood though? I thought you were after Vash. Then again, their methods of getting to Vash were always a bit obtruse. Or what's the word I'm looking for? Obtuse. Probably obtuse. I mean, the idea is basically just to mess with Vash, but now they're going after Wolfwood. Ah. <sighs> We're running into, uh, one of the few gripes I do have about this series, because I don't mind the changes that they've made so much. Probably just because it's been a good while since I've read the manga, or even seen the anime. That's, I, that's why I didn't like, I'm gonna catch up on all things Trigun before I see this. No, 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 no. I feel like that would have caused me issues, but the... The big problem I'm seeing is the design. Where some designs are great, they're pretty cute. You know, kind of updated versions of Naito's original stuff. But some of the others are... <sighs> oh jeez, what are these designs? All bearing crosses. Are these the other orphans? Have they already been experimented upon? I wonder if he'll become like the Livio in the manga though. Because, I mean, Livio started off a very emotionless, but you got to see more of his personality shine through as things went on. But the introduction of Livio is what led to a few other things. The funny thing is, though, 
in the manga, Wolfwood, he was a teenager when he was experimented on by the Eye of Michael. So he ended up looking almost like a middle-aged man, but I always thought he looked more like he was in his 30s. In the anime, Wolfwood just is an older guy. I'm just surprised we're already being introduced to Livio because, you know, we haven't been introduced to a lot of the others. Uh, Dominique, Raide, Lenolf, Hoppard, Mid-Valley. But then again, we were introduced to Elendria very, very early on, too. So, mm. but it definitely feels like they're compressing a lot of the story. But to have Neon and Livio in the same story arc, oof. <sighs> this one was a bit of a eh, mixed bag for me because it was cool seeing Livia and getting Nicholas's backstory and stuff like that was awesome. But mm, more of at a point where how things pay off will decide how I feel about it. I'm also kind of mixed on the way that Legato looks. Not really vibing with it as much as I would have hoped. Well, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. And until then, I've been Deez Deez Din, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.